world-renowned sex reassignment surgeon who has helped over 500 patients change their gender. Marcy knows firsthand about transformation. Just 10 years ago, she was Dr. Mark Bowers, a successful married OBGYN and the father of three children. Marcy says she lived in denial for 40 years until she could no longer look in the mirror. When you're ready to risk losing your friends and your family, that's when you really transition. Dr. Bowers is still married to your wife. Yes, I am. And how long were you married? Uh, 22 years. Not to even make a joke about it, but when you were looking at the, the sex organs of women all the time, was there a part of you that thought, I wish I had one of those or something like that? Well, Oprah, you know, I've had my first cross-gender feelings at four and five, and, um, um, but felt very ashamed of that and uh, did my best throughout life to hide that aside, to hide it. And actually, my choice of, of becoming an OBGYN was so that I could put it aside and just be more a part of women's lives, and I thought that that would satisfy the feelings that I had. Interesting, very interesting. And it did not, obviously. It did not. <laughs> yeah. No, I just felt more, the more I felt a part of their lives, the more I felt that, you know, you know, actually, this is, this should be my life. It has been seven years since I interviewed Dr. Bowers. Today, she has performed over 1,500 sex reassignment surgeries. Hi. Hi, Hannah. How are you? We checked in with her at her practice just outside of San Francisco. So you had surgery last Thursday. We have seen almost an explosion of of interest in, in people coming out as trans. So we had to do a lot of work, really reconstruct the urethra, reconstruct the clitoris, reconstruct some of the labia. They're coming out at earlier and earlier ages. Um, there's uh, less resistance to it, I guess I would say, by parents, loved ones. How are you? Great. A generation ago, if you came out to your parents, and you said, Mommy, I'm a girl, or Daddy, I'm a boy, they would slap your hand, or punish you in some way that you never brought those feelings up again. Now I, we're seeing um, parents seeking answers. Now, uh, what questions do you have about the, the surgery I do then? Uh, particularly about what, what portions of the anatomy will then be sensitive for sexual stimulation? You're probably going to come out of it with tissue that's going to be sensitive and functional. Probably the biggest fear that they have after a surgery like this is, will I be able to orgasm? Will I be able to be a responsive lover? Um, I know what I had before, what am I gonna have afterwards? When you have new anatomy, it's like changing instruments in the orchestra. So you're giving up the trombone and you're picking up the violin. What patients really experience in terms of their emotion after surgery is a sense of relief more than anything. I think the most rewarding part about surgery is when you can say to someone that now you are a complete man or you're a complete woman, wow, that's just, that's very powerful. They feel like they're one with their soul, finally. Thank you so much. The transgender movement has uh, progressed in ways even I didn't really think was possible. Gender and the exploration of gender is really, if you think about it, the last wave of the human rights movement. You know, we've just gone through, or we're going through still, racial rights and, and uh, women's rights and sexual rights. So now this latest and hopefully final wave is the right to express your gender identity in the way you feel it to be. And uh, it's really, it's, it's actually very exciting. Legally, we are still married. Uh, we are very good friends. Obviously, we share the children together. We have, you know, somewhat separate lives. We spend a lot of time together, and we speak on the phone almost every day together. We do have quite an interesting family. Yeah, this make it is a modern family. Yes. 